how we can now record and all that. Record everyone. So guys, uh, yesterday, what shall we do? So yesterday we have seen the VRF concept, right? So VRF is stand for the virtual routing for working, right? So based, uh, based on that, you know, the virtual routing table, the router will follow the packet. So how do I create the VRF? The very simple command is step number one, create the VRF. How I did, I just put the command IP VRF and define the name. And this name is associated with your routing table. This name is associated with your routing table. Then after that, you need to go on the interface, interface zero slash zero, and tell this person, hey, this interface is now a part of the VR. So, which VR? So now this interface now move in the. From global. Right, so very simple commands are that create VRF, the step number one, IP VRF Cisco, right? This is the command. And then after that, we need to associate this interface into the particular VRF, which VRF Cisco. This name is case sensitive, guys. This name is case sensitive. So whatever the name that you are going to define, it has to be same. Right, so yesterday we have seen that uh, like how we can implement the da static routing with the VRF, right? So we just need to put the command IP root. Then we need to define the VRF and whatever the VRF table you are going to use. And I'm going to say 1.0.0.0, summary task information and next probably whatever the next of you have. So this command will tell this person, right? In VRF table, not null. Whereas, I, if you put the command IP root 1.0.0.0, this information will be installed in your global audit. Right? So, here we are mentioning this keyword VRF Cisco. So, that is in the ISP table we added that, right? IP route VRF yeah, Cisco. Of course, of course. Sir. This is a, the VRF that you are going to do mostly, right? 99% chance you are doing the VRF. We cannot say that 99 percent it's totally depend on the requirement. Most of the time, the ISP is going to use the VRF also. Most of the time. Customer is very less requirement. Customer side. I'll show you whatever the requirement we have. Don't worry. But customer has a very less requirement. Always yeah, the VRF concept is implementing on the ISP side. We'll see the scenario where we can, the customer is going to use the this concept, VRF. And how do I ping? Uh, if you ping, uh, if you just put the command ping, if you just use this command ping, wonder one one one, what happens? It look up. Global routing. If you want to. Just got and how do I, I uh, verify uh, verify these things? One minute, I'll allow you to go on. Show IP VRF. Show IP VRF interface. Right? These are the commands to check like uh, you know and show IP root VRF system. So these are the verification command you can use to verify this thing, right? Now, <clears throat> let's come back to the scenario. Now we are going to implement the dynamic routing protocols, right? So we can go for the RIP. In the dynamic, we can start from the RIP, EHRP, BGP, right? So 
So first I'm going to configure the rip, right? I'm going to configure the rip on this side, this side, this side, this side, this side as well. Okay, on every router, I'm going to configure the rip, right? And through the rip, I'm going to exchange the routing information. So on a router, right, on the client side, on the customer side, these are my customer, right? These are my customer, right? These are my customer. On a customer side, we are going to run the normal rip. For example, on R1, version 2 network, 15.0. Network, network, done, copy, R1 is configured, right? Same way, let me just move from the size. All done, or oh, we have our same configuration on R2, router rip version two. 25.0 network, network, done. Same way R3, this guy. R3. Normal rip, you are going to configure on the customer side, always normal rip. Nothing we have to do any configuration. A very normal configuration. So before I'm going to paste this rip configuration, let's see the whatever the IPs are configured right on the customer side. So if you verify from the router number one, that is the Cisco Bangalore office, right? <clears throat> Show IP interface brief. The font is too small, right? R1, R2, and here we're going to start. So if you see the configuration of R1, we have a proper configuration of R1, right? And if you show IP protocol summary, we don't have any protocol is neighbor. Okay, BGP is neighbor. Let's remove this BGP right now. Let me check the configuration. Okay. Now put. Nothing is there. All done. And uh, done. So I'm going to start my configuration from the router number one that I'm going to paste this configuration, normal configuration, right? So on router number one, we have a two loopbacks. One is a one or zero and 10 or zero. Verify this thing. Not then, create the loopback. And paste this configuration right on our router number normal configuration. Done right on our router number three. If you just have the uh, Cisco Delhi branch right, all done. Let's configure the rip on this side. All done. What about the router number two now? If you go back to the router number two, and if you verify the do show IP interface brief expert on a sign, we all have a proper IP testing on the router number two. Now we need to copy this command. Copy. And uh, let's paste this on the screen. So we have a two duplication. If you see that, uh, we have a duplicate range. The private range can be duplicate, right?
मेरी चीख मेरी मम्मी पे गई मेरा सकल मेरे पापा पे गया चीख मेरी मम्मी पे गई और गंदा चीख रहा हूँ ना if you go back to the router of phone now and if you verify the show ip interface brief all good we have a proper ip addressing on the router of four so let's configure this four as well as copy and all done done So now it's time to configure the R5, right? On R5, this two interface should be a part of VRF, right? Which VRF? Cisco. So what I'm going to do on this guy, on this two interface, I'm going to start my configuration, right? The VRF configuration on the router on R5. Interface, okay. First, create the VRF. Done on R5. Read this configuration. Copy. On a zero slash one as well as this thirty five dot one. Same information thirty five dot five. On two slash zero now. Sorry, one slash zero. This should be Nokia. Guys, make sure that this is a case sensitive, right? Many person is doing the mistake this in exam. Okay, the name is very very important. Case sensitive. Always remember whenever you are not able to ping, right? In a VRF case, if you have a VRF on the router and you, if you are not able to ping, check your VRF configuration. Most important, because many person is doing the mistake with the VRF. Many person. All good, right? So let's copy this configuration on the router five. Copy and last one is Cisco. You have to change it to Nokia. Wow, made a mistake, right? All good. So now, if you see, do show IP or uh, VRF. Verify this thing to show IP VRF interface. You can see now all we have a proper IP addition. Right. Now I need to configure the RIP on this guy. Problem. So two slash zero is still shut down. It is not up. Okay. Is it? Now, the thing is that in networking, the IP is categorized in the two ways, right? IPv4 and IPv6, right? The IP has a two parts. One we have a IPv4, one we have a IPv6. Right. At the same time, IP is going to provide the three types of communication. Right. Unicast, multicast, and broadcast. Normally, what happen in a normally we have a two types of routing protocol. Right. We have a two types of routing protocol. Either we have a unicast routing protocol that is a RIP, EHRP, OS for BGP. The multicast routing protocol comes in the picture like a DBMRP, MOSPF, PIM. Okay, so according to the traffic wise, right? We have a two types of a three types of traffic. We can say the unicast, multicast, and broadcast. But uh, we are only going to apply the unicast routing protocol and either the multicast routing protocol, depend on the requirement, right? Now, thing is that this IPv4 white, this guy, is going to work with the 
this person and this person as well. Okay. And this all are the things are which guy? This all things are for the global. Global is a global outing table. So if you're just going to enable router rip and version two, and if you put the network, whatever the network we have, take example one or zero. What happened? You are enabling this command is saying that hey, you are enabling the VRF. Sorry, this command. This is saying that you are advertising this network in global. At the same time, what happened right now? The ISP is running with the which part? The ISP is running with the VRF, right? At the same thing, what happened for the VRF? We have a same way. We have a unicast, we have a multicast, we have an IPv4, IPv6. So basically what happened on the router side, we have a family, right? Two families are there. The family number one, the family number two. And then after that, what happened? The family has a two sons. We have IPv4, IPv6. Unicast for the IPv4, unicast for the IPv4 multicast. Right now on the ISP side, what happened? I'm not going to deploy this RIP protocol for the global, right? Because this my all these interfaces are belongs to the particular VRF Cisco, Nokia. I need to tell this person, hey, I'm going to deploy. router rep protocol, not for the global, for the particular address family, which address family IP for that's belong to the VRF Cisco. Exit over there for right now and see, two things is happening. One is the unicast, by default, this command is enabled. And you know what is the meaning of this command? You are advertising this route for the global. Actually, in the background, this command is by default enabled. You are doing the unicasting, right? If you remember this command IP routing, what this command is doing, it enable unicast, right? Only unicast. If you see do show IP multicast, still multicast is what? Disable. So I need to go on the router number five. What I'm going to tell this person, hey, I'm going to run this protocol rip for which we are at Cisco. And now in the Cisco, how many routes are present? This two one, right? 15.0. And then at the same way, we have another VRF uh, team, uh, Cisco. Sorry, another VRF we have that is a Nokia, right? And that also going to run for the which one? IPv4, right? Network. How many dots we have in the IP uh, Nokia? 25.0 and So now if you have a look the configuration, do so run section rip or router. This is what the Nokia, right? No, when did you say that that address family uh, syntax is needed? Yeah, or how you can define if you're going to enable for the IPv4 right you don't need to put this command by default this command is exist over there i'm going to override this command over there okay so uh, your regular router will have that as it address yeah IP. your regular router is have this one can you just this, show me on this, r1 now r2 if, if it's already there ipv4 no, it's it's a hidden over there it's been not not seen over there like this command 
type it out. Have you ever seen this command on the running config? See. Okay, okay. Are you able to see the IP routing anywhere? You can't see that. This IP routing, this command IP routing is going, going to enable the unicast behavior. See the command line, uh, router rip, what I'm doing over there. What's, even, let's do one thing. I'll do one thing. R1, I'm going to configure the start my configuration for how, no router rip. I'm going to disable the rip over there, right? I'm going to start my configuration like this. Address, sorry. Address on IPv4, unicast network. Advertise like this. Both are correct. Network. Actually, this is the way that you're going to uh, configure the command. See, I did this configuration, but what happened? It's not showing this. It's a problem with the version. You can do this thing on a different version. It will show this command as well. By default, this command is enabled. By default. I did my configuration like this, but what happened? They convert into the normal one, the older format. My version is not updated. So now if you see, R1 is able to receive all the lot. Do show IP root. Okay, what happened? So IP root VRR, Cisco. Okay. So IP root VRR, Nokia. Okay, I'm able to receive this route. R2. Okay, one minute. My customer is not listening to the route. Why? Show them section. So IP interface D. Show them section. So it's just happening. R5 is able to receive all the information. Can I ping? Yep. When R2 is able to receive why?
the sweet one sometimes. It's a slow protocol. Okay. Give him another one. Do I do? This is bug. Just give me one minute. This is bug. My router is not able to receive this information. This is. Make that. So on, on, on R5 configuration, can you just show me what? Load and section. Right, and you configured the interfaces also on the VRF, right? Yeah, perfect. It's VRF is correct. VRF is correct. So if you so uh, if you'll show you one thing, see. I'll show you something else on the HRP. The home and with the HRP. And HRP is receiving the route. It's a bug of the GNS3. No need to define version on the ISP. Yeah, no need. By default, it will take the version 2. If you configure the address family. So really went fast, so I'm not sure what you did there. Okay. See, maybe it wasn't really clear the issue because why default? But it has to be received the last right? Like, Oh, my God. But you can see the problem is this I'm only using the 45 it has to be the four as well as well. Take it now. No lot of No lot of rep. Address family IPv4. VRF. This four. And as it was in two. Network. Network. Sorry. 2015 logic. 
I'm going to delete this guy. And the uh, same thing we need to do for the Nokia as well as. Network. Delete our Google Network. 25 hours. Sir, I think you advertise wrong network, sir. 15 and 35 should be in. Uh... Uh, you did no network 35 on uh, Cisco. 15 on 35 should be in the Cisco, right? Okay. Yeah, 20, 25. 25 and 45 is correct. Okay, I that. Okay. Yeah, I did. Cisco. Two. And uh, 35 and Right. Let's see if the version issue is happening. Let's uh, so see the route. Here we go. Yeah, it was the version mismatch is happening. And it didn't define the version on the route. And it defined the version. This one I forgot. Also, I didn't define over there. So let me define it instead. Now to show on section router. Here we go. I forget to define this command on the tab. So now actors will receive this information. Yep, yeah, but it's not as in the 4.0, right? Okay, on RP to show. IP root, see, am I able to receive all the route? R3 is able to receive all the route, right? R1 is able to receive all the route, 3.0 and 35.0. Let's go back to the router number four, if you see, to show IP root. Now R4 is not able to receive the route, right? Maybe some issue on R2 configuration. Sorry. So it's, it's a uh, it's a guys it's a bug right it's a bug of the genus react they are not working with the like you know the rip. but yeah uh, I forget to uh, enable the command this one right version two only right but it's a bug you can do you can do one thing you can take a fifteen dot zero as version and you can do this practically it will work over there because I did the same practice many times right. Because every configuration is correct, right? Version two, version two. The ISP the, on a customer side, you don't you need to do the normal configuration, right? Normally, you don't need to do the customer side like this one. But you have version fifteen images, right? No, I have, I have, I have a fifteen images, but I need to draw the topology for the fifteen as well as again. But right now, I'm running with the twelve or zero. I think so. I'm running with the twelve or zero. Because R1 is able to exchange the route with the R3, but this customer is not. So this guy is able to exchange the route from here to here, right? Okay, this guy is able to exchange the route, but this guy is not able to exchange the route. The configuration seems that like nothing is different in the configuration, but this guy is able to exchange, this guy is not. Nothing is a, is a bug of that of genus three. Don't worry. They are right in the R1, R4 is not there. Even if you check on R2, R2 is able to receive the 45 or 0 rod, but not the complete one. So it's a bug. Okay. Right, so this is how you can configure, like you know, the rip. You can do this practical on the 15.0 as well, and it will work over there. Don't worry. 
and even it's not working so don't worry like you know the rip is totally obsolete protocol legacy now we are not going to use the rip and you will never find anywhere rip not in examination even the version 5.5 uh, is not given the rip over there right not in the syllabus not in the examination not anywhere I just show you that how you can enable the rip on the VRF, particular VRF. That's it. But this, this guy is not, we are not going to use the rip anywhere. Right? You can do this practical on the uh, 15 or Jura's version. Same command will be there. Just put the same command, it will work over there. Maybe otherwise, if if it's not working over there, then again, it's a big issue with the like you know the iOS version. Let's do one thing. Huh? I'll make this lab on the VMware so that I can show the other people as well as right. Maybe they they have a questions, so I can do that. Will it work on the peanut? I'm just checking out on the web IU as well as peanut will work. Peanut has an updated email. The peanut has some issue with the firewall. I have seen this. Have you done with this, Divan? Ron? Sorry, have you done with the Steven part? Have I done what? Steven, Steven, software defend it. Yeah. yeah, it's coming along. Yeah. How's that, Steven? Is it hard or is it like what? Is it hard? Yeah, I'm asking, is it hard? Is it complex to go configure this thing? Like, you know, well, a lot of things are automatic. Yeah. You don't have to redistribute static. You don't have to redistribute connected. To every a lot of things just are automatic. Tunnels are built automatically. Okay. Yeah, OSPF automatically re redistributes connected routes, static routes, inter-area routes, and intra-area routes into OMP without it, with, without any configuration. And how the loop prevention is happening? Well, I don't know, you know, I'm getting my, I'm getting information from this person and that person, you know, because a lot of these, a lot of these companies don't have configuration. They'll give you show commands, but then they won't give you the configuration. So you have to find it from somewhere else. So that's been been a grind. All these um, SD WAN labs, I see an MPLS cloud and an internet cloud, but it doesn't look like <laughs> it doesn't look like the uh, the lab is like that, the CCIE lab. It looks like there's an MPLS core and everything's connected to that. MPLC, SD band, you know one thing. SD band loop prevention mechanism is quite lengthy. Not lengthy, it's very easy again. Not lengthy, it's very easy as compared to normal. The SD band, even the SD band, you know, the uh, loop permission mechanism is totally depend on the like unicast routing protocol that you are using in the traditionally. If you have a SD band Cisco press book, right? In the SD band Cisco press book, this thing is given, right? Cisco press? Yeah, Cisco press SD band. Who, who wrote it? Sorry? Who wrote it? Let me check that one. Who sorted this thing? You don't have it. Let me check. I have it. Okay. 
Most of the work is getting the images working and then getting the devices registered. That's more work than anything. See, do you know anyone of the person? No. No. Oh, so you found out the Kali the Can you send? Okay, let me configure this thing. Speak me now. Any of you can come in there. So it's going to be up to you. Can talk about this. Maybe we are at Cisco. Oh, please, man. We can do ये देखो मैं बस चलिए ठीक है मजे में Run. Run. Twenty five or zero? Twenty five or sorry, two. Run. Run. Last one left. Come on, man. Show IP root. 
शो आई पी रूट वी आर एफ सो इसको शो आई पी रूट वी आर एफ नोट किया था वा आ गया कस्टमर के पास भी आ जाना चाहिए टू शो आई पी रूट टाइप आ गया बिल्कुल इसके ट्रिप के बगैर आ गया आ गया आ गया डन आठ आठ ही हो गया कस्टमर अनुमान को आठ हो अन्न 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 आठ ही आठ वन और भी लगते हैं बग जीनेस थ्री हैज सम इश्यू Genius three has some issue, guys. If you see, I have all things right. If you see the rip, I am getting all the output right. Every R two has a complete information about the R uh, another site four dot zero and forty five dot zero, right? R two, router number two. R three has a complete information about the like you know. R five has a complete information the ISP. About the Nokia table and uh, Cisco as well as. At the same time, uh, R4 has a complete information, right? So the R4, the two dot zero about the this site, okay? And uh, R1 also have a complete information about three dot zero and thirty five dot zero. It was about on the GNS. It's not a. You cannot say that it's a bug of the GNS three guys, right? It's a bug of iOS version. It's a bug of the iOS. Nothing else. Then now let's configure the EHRP. So what I'm going to do for the EHRP configuration, I'm going to remove the rip from the every router right now. No router rip. No router rip. Then I have removed the rip on every router. Now let's just start the EHRP. Router EHRP on the customer side, right? Normal. So what I can do? I'm going to assume this person is going to use the EHRP number one. This customer because they are the same customer, right? The Nokia is going to use the EHRP number two, and Cisco is going to use the one. R one and uh, R three. The configuration should be same, right? Can I use this one? I can use right. No issue. R two, R four. Then, right? R two. Then R four. Then R one and R three. That is this guy. R one and R three. Then, then. On a ISP, what happened? On a ISP, first of all, what you need to enable the EHRP for sign. You need to enable the EHRP first of all. How do I enable it? I can use the any dummy ES number. Any dummy ES number. I can use the hundred. I can use the five hundred. So just. Enter in the EHRP mode, right? To just enter in the EHRP mode, we need to use any ES number. You can use the same number as well as if you want to use the one, you can use the one as well as 
You can use the two, you can use the two as well as. But right now, I'm just going to use the one global AS number. I'm just going to use the one global AS number. And in this global AS number, what I'm going to call, I call the address from the IPv4, which person? Classic mode, right? Classic mode does not support the IPv6, IPv4. And then put the VRF name. If you put the question mark, he's, out, he's getting, giving the option, right? Unicast or VRF by default, Unicast is enabled. I just need to put the VRF and then VRF name Cisco. Hit enter and say the autonomous system. Which autonomous system this, this guy's belong? So AS number one, right? Cisco is belong to the AS number one. Cisco AS number one, Cisco AS number one. And then here I say that network 0, 0, 0. Whatever the network are present in the Cisco routing table, all they will be advertised by using the 0, 0 statement. Do show IP root, VRF Cisco. See, two networks. I can advertise both of the networks just putting the 0, 0, 0, 0. Exit. Same way. Now I'm going to use the Nokia over there. Sorry. Nokia. And then. Is now what? Two. Right? Nokia is going to use the two network. All done. So now if you should do show run section EAGRP. Now, if you have a look at the do show IP root, we are of Cisco. I have all customer out. And if you see the do show IP, we are out Nokia. So now R2, this look back is not there. Tender Joe, let's create it this guy. So now if you see. Duplication is there, right? You can see that. Do show IP root Cisco. But both are present, right? But both are present in a different, different routing table. And now if you see the customer information, right? Customer also have show IP root. R2 has a information on the R4. I can ping this guy, right? If you want to ping. And if you go back to the router number one, that is this guy, Cisco Bangalore office. I have 3.0.0, .0, right? I can ping this person on that side. If you see on R4, I have a R2 information. And on R3, I have a R1 information. So on a normal router, on the customer router, we are just going to enable the normal EHRP. On the ISP side, you have to do like this configuration. I'm again repeating this AS number you can take any name. It's you just need to enter in the EHRP mode. That's why I use the global AS number. I can use the AS number two as well as if you want, I can use it. Let's have a look over there. Let me remove this person, no router EHRP 500. I say that router EHRP. Take anyone, I take a one over there. And this one is already used by the Cisco. I can copy this person.
Here's number one. Done. And for Nokia. Ace number two. And we are good to go. So do show IP root. So do show run section. This is a global ace number, right? It can be anything. And under the VRF, I'm going to use the AS number one. Under this VRF, we are going to use the AS number two. Global H number, local to the VRF, local to the VRF. This global H number could be anything. It's totally up to you. You just need to enter in the EIGRP mode. That's it, nothing else. This thing I did in the classic mode, you can do also in the name mode as well. If you want to do the name mode, I can show you as well as if you want. Let's do one thing. Huh? Let's come back to the this part. Where is the top closing? This one, I can configure the name mode if you want. I'll do one thing. Host name R1, right? Same top closing in Bangalore and Delhi is there. No lot of rip. CCI name mode. Network uh, address family. IPv4 autonomous is okay. IP before autonomous system number one, network 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Then on a R4, host name R4, that is this guy, Nokia, right? Sorry. We have to configure the name or router HRP. Name will be CCNP. Then on R3, that is guy. So name, you can use anything, right? The name, of, this is locally significant, right? And if you go back to the pattern of two now, Right? Address on the IPv4, autonomous system number one. And here you can use the unicast, sorry. If you see, I can use the unicast keyword. If you want, you can use it. By default, it's a unicast. If you see, we have an option over there. By default, it's unicast. So if you see, I didn't put this command, right? I just put the address family IPv4, autonomous system number one. By default, this command will take for the unicast. If you want to specify for the multicast, you need to put the multicast keyword. But right now, if you want to specify the unicast, sorry, it should be two, right? So already one is configured, not allowed for the two. Let's make it one. Now I say the network. On the ISP side, what I have to do, the router of five, router EGRP, which name? Tell me anything, Spider-Man. Address for me, IPv4, right? Now, which one, VRF? What's the autonomous system number one? Okay, just go. Then, H number one, right? Network. Form the neighborship. 
same thing with this guy nokia what are age number two network done do so run section agr this is our name mode configuration just give me one minute i just come back okay just till meanwhile watch this comment पानी <laughs> Like like coconut water. Yeah, guys. Anyone has a questions? No. This clear is a like a classic mode. How you can configure the VRF and the NIM mode, right? So whatever the age number that you are defining over there, this age number is a global age number, and this is the local to the VRF. You can use any of the age number. It's totally up to you. And in the we are in our like a name mode, you just need to specify the name. It could be any name. And under this name, you can define the this thing. Cisco Autonomous System One. That is this guy one one, and this guy is two two. This is awesome. Short circuit to Valdeo. Me, I need to take it. Kuch nahi hoga. जानता नहीं है मैं तो जब तू VPN वीडियो ना चाहिए तो जब देता हूँ तो जब क्लास में जब आते हैं आप अरे अंडे सब कुछ दूँगा आगे पढ़ा दूँगा मैं रिया तो वो आल लिखती है चुपी इस पे दो वीडियो है नेस्ट ऐसा ही ना मैं अभी देता हूँ पूरे वीडियो ऑल गुड गाइस और सी कंपनी बोल दो I'm not in Norway. Now, let's do the old stuff configuration, right? Let's see with the EJRP. Done. Done. How do I configure the OS? On the customer side, normal OS is going to be done, right? Dot OS number one. That's it. Network fifteen dot zero. Area zero. Network one dot zero dot zero dot zero dot zero. Area zero. Network ten dot zero dot zero dot zero dot zero. Area zero, right? On a customer R one. On a R three. Network. 35.0 area 0 network 3.0.0.0 area 
एरिया जीरो कस्टमर राइट नॉर्मल कॉन्फ़िगरेशन आर फोर कस्टमर एनी एस नंबर यू कैन टेक सॉरी एनी प्रोसेस आईडी टू फोर्टी फाइव आर जीरो एरिया जीरो राइट एरिया जीरो आर टू ट्वेंटी फाइव आर जीरो एरिया जीरो नेटवर्क एरिया जीरो नेटवर्क नाउ इन ओएस पे देर इज नो कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ in this os version 2 is only dedicated for the which part part in os version 3 this guy is dedicated for the ipv4 ipv6 that's why we have a address family concept over there but in this case no because only dedicated for the ip uh, before so what happen your configuration will be something very easy as compared to the, any other routing program r5 isp router os for number 1 put the question mark You're asking you the vrf which vrf so let's go for the network area 0 router os for number 1 vrf which vrf nokia sorry as number 2 sorry process id number 2 right we are fish we are nokia done do so run section os so now you can see All configuration we have, and all the router is going to exchange the router. Go back to the router number two. See, on the router number two, we have a forty-five dot zero information and four dot four dot four dot four four, right? On the router number one, if you see, on the router number one, they have information of the Delhi branch. On the router number four, you have information of the R two. and router number 3 that this guy right you have in first of the router number 1 so here in the, the custom in the isp router you are enabling the same ospf uh... Process as a customer end, correct? Yeah, yeah, of course. Otherwise, two database will be there, right? Remember those two class that I to uh, uh, taught you, right? If you have a two database table on the same link, the database table will be not exchanged, right? They will so form the neighborship. Okay. They will form the neighborship. Database will not exchange because okay, every process ID has a separate database table. Every process oh. ID has a separate database table. So then, in that case, with OSP, we have a limitation, sir, because uh, there is no limitation. We are going to use the AS number one, this guy, process ID one, process ID one, this guy, the customer, and the process ID two, this customer, process ID two, this customer. The Cisco is configured with the one, Nokia is configured with the two. That's it. Nothing. Where is the limitation is happening? So now, if we have like five hundred customers, then how uh, can I enable OSP of three? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can. There's no issue with those. You can enable it. Yeah, JRP has issue with that. Okay. Guilty. Meri guilty. Tere guilty. Done.
So if you see the uh, like a uh, reachability as plus from R1, I can ping this person as well. 3.3.3.3. Source awesome. Okay, okay. I have a good reachability, right? So this is the how you can configure those, you know, right on the configuration on the customer side. I'll show you the configuration, normal configuration on the customer side, right? And on the ISP side. Yes. Sir. आप चल रहे हो ना बाबा चल रहे हो क्या किसने भेजा भैया अमित ने मेरे पैसे भेजे उसने नहीं तो मैंने कहा मत देना इस इंसान को मैं हम लोग उससे मंगाई थे पी लो पी लो मैंने भी छह छह सात मंगा लिया था अभी जस्ट छह सात मंगा दो क्लास में वही पी रहा हूँ किससे क्या मंगा स्टूडेंट्स आए ऑल गुड Now let's start the VGP for this point, right? VRF with the VGP. So I'm going to remove the all OSP, no auto OSP one. VRF, Cisco, and no, this guy. Done. Customer, no auto OSP number one. So it should be two, right? One, R two should be two. Three, four, two, three, four, and three. All different age numbers. So we are going to run the E B C B right between this guy E B C B, E B C B, and E B C B. So what configuration I'm going to do on a customer side on a router number one? On a router one, router VGP number one, neighbor I'm going to form the neighbors with the 15.5. The ISP remote age will be what? Five network I'm going to advertise my own network and 10.0.0. Done. On router number one, normal BGP configuration, right? I need to form the neighbors with the 15.5, and that is running with the remote age five. And I'm going to advertise my all network internal. On a router number three, same thing. I need to do this guy. Three. Neighborship. I'm going to form with the 35.5. Remote age will be five, and network 3.0.0. All done. I'm going to advertise my this LAN network, right? On R4 as well as router VGP number four. Five network 4.0.0.0. Same way on R two, twenty five dot five, that is is on five, network two dot zero dot zero dot zero, network ten dot zero dot zero dot zero. ISP. Router BGP number five. Neighborship. I'm going to form with the 15.1. Remote age will be what? One. Right. What this command is going to do in this case? If you just put this neighbor 15.1, as we know that BGP works on the which protocol? TCP, right? And TCP is a reliable. It make uh, it will check a reliability for this route, right? Do we have this information in the local routing table? Which routing table they will look up? But actually, this route is present in the Cisco routing table, right? So what happened? I need to define 
address family IPv4 VRF. And then same way 35.3. Then we have a Nokia. Done. Good. And I'm done. Show run section B. It will not show you the, this command, right? This configuration will not show you. you can, this is the issue that I You can check, uh, show run. Maybe in this one, it will show you. It's the iOS bug, right? It's iOS bug. But configuration is correct, right? Can anyone tell me why this router is not forming the navy ship? If you see, show IP BGP summary. Show IP BGP VPN report. All summary. All are in the ID listed. Anyone tell me the reason why they are not able to form the new ship? This will be happen in your CC exam. In a CC exam, what happened? I'll tell you, many person is doing the VRF configuration and the VRF, what happened? They forget to configure the router ID manually. So your configuration is correct, right? Your configuration is correct, but still your uh, state will be ideal because of this person. BGP cannot run because the router ID is not configured, right? So what happened either We need to create the uh, create the one loop back. That is 5050505505. Right. So automatically, what happened? The router ID will be chosen by this 5050505 by the router. Or other, we need to go in the mode and define the BGP router ID manually. It's totally up to you. So now, if you see, wait for some time. My neighbor is coming up. All done. So see. Right. And my all neighbor is up. And if you see the routing information, they are able to exchange the route. Show IP root BGP. So IP root VRF Cisco. Show I okay. What happened? Wait for some time. It's a slow routing result. Um, yep. See. And show IP root VRF. Okay. Can you go to customer router and just check, sir? Please? Yep. Okay. On R1 as well as. On R3 as well as. On R4 as well as.
मैं बोतल लेके नहीं आया तो इसमें पानी भरवा दो अगर पानी खत्म हो गया तो मैंने कहा पानी भर के लिए इसी में तो सर टेस्ट वही वाली बट थोड़ा गरीब वाला टेस्ट है इंटरव्यू इंटरव्यू हुआ था अभी हो गया सेकेंड राउंड के लिए सेलेक्ट कर लिया भाई साहब नेटफ्लिक्स रिचार्ज हो जाएगा इसमें क्या कर उसने पूछा दो ही पूछा उसने बोल दिया सेकेंड राउंड के लिए सेलेक्ट हो गई पता नहीं मैं जब सही है। सेक्शन बीजेपी। सो सो मेक दैट इट्स नॉट गोइंग बग द लाइक आईओएस राइट। यू कैन सी इफ आई टू डू द कॉन्फ़िगरेशन ऑफ़ दिस वन यू कैन डू दिस कॉन्फ़िगरेशन कॉन्फ़िगरेशन ऑफ़ फिफ्टीन इट विल शो यू माय वाज दैट्स आई डिड दिस वन ओके बट इट विल शो इन दबलेटर आई शो right if you have a question law uh, you have used this command show ip bgp vpn before all summary don't worry about that i'm going to explain this one later on not now okay in the mpls part i'm going to explain this one so here guys i'm done with the vrf right if you have any questions you can ask me i'm the, the, discussing on the vrf light right RD and RT. This concept we are going to discuss in the MPLS part. Hello, a question. Let's take example. What happened? R one, right? R two. R five, R six, R three. ये मेरे दो कस्टमर हैं। ये आईएसपी क्या होता है? सस्को, सस्को, नोकिया, नोकिया, राइट? कैसे करोगे? Tell me, this interface in this case, what happened? You know, if you have looked like this topology, in this interface you have to configure this guy, right? zero slash zero into VRF Cisco, and this interface zero slash one also VRF in the Cisco. This interface zero slash one also VRF in the Cisco, and this interface zero slash zero also in the VRF Cisco. Same way, this interface zero slash two and zero slash three part of the Nokia, Nokia and zero slash two and zero slash three is a part of the Nokia. customer it seems like if you have multiple customer right you need to create a multiple physical link but uh, but this kind of technology we are not going to use right like uh, if you remember that in a switch layer to network what happened two switches are there and if you have a 20 vlans vlan number 1 to 20 you need to create the 20 physical links right to avoid this problem we have introduced the 80.1 pin encapsulation protocol like tagging same thing to avoid this kind of topology we are going to use the in this case we are going to use the route distinction and rt this two concept we are going to use so if you have 1000 customer right you are going to use the single link only not the multiple links but this part we are going to discuss not now later on don't worry in the mpls part i am going to discuss so here i am done with the bgp bgp and our vrf light all can if you have any questions you can ask no the lab will probably be bgp right Sorry, the lab is probably going to be BGP. Yeah, lab is probably hundred percent the BGP related. 
oleh BGP Interlab. Only BGP will happen in the lab, not the OSPO. Yeah, so if you have a DMBPN, uh, uh, one minute, let me take remind me of the lab scenario. No, even the OSPO is also not there in the US. Yes, it's not there. BGP is also there, only BGP. I don't know about the uh, next one, maybe in the new lab will be the OSPO as well as with the PRF. Yeah, but mostly in the version four and version five, the BGP is also. All good guys. So see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Hello. Yeah, Ask tell one me. question. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, I created one topology study. I understand everything, okay. but I didn't get why it was giving the you know uh, why the tunnel was getting down because we already configured the passive interface and everything. Mm, uh, can you show me that topology? Show me that one. Oh, I have to share my screen. Already sharing. Okay, I need to stop sharing one minute. Yeah, Ron, you can ask me the question if you have any. Yeah. yeah I was wondering if you could post the, the book up on the on the uh, drive. Yes, Devan. Okay, I'll post yeah. post this video. Devinder, can we do that topology tomorrow if you don't mind? Okay. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Okay, okay, uh, okay guys, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll post this uh, book okay, in the group. Okay, thank you. Yeah, is it the drive we have access to? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, I'll post it. Don't worry. Bye, bye. Thank you. Thank you.